What's up, people? My name is John Carlo. I'm a cinematographer based in Philadelphia. Today I'm with Adorama TV presenting the brand new Nanlite Pavo Tube 2 30X series. Having been a big fan of the previous model Pavo tubes, I was really eager to try out these newer models. So only having these for a few days now, I can already tell that the quality of these lights are way better than the original models. Everything from the build to the light quality to the functions and features, Nanlite really stepped up their game and created a product that, in my opinion, can really compete with industry standard tubes like quasars and asteras. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is the build of these tubes. The 30X is the four foot version. The build on these new tubes feel and look a lot better and way more sturdy. With a metal housing and diffused cover, these tubes are extremely durable. Comparing the old tubes to the new ones, the first major difference is the black caps at the end of the tubes. The original Pava tubes have a longer, almost kind of slightly unattractive end piece that makes it look a little less like a practical source and it also cuts out a few inches of potential light that the newer tubes make up for. This helps the light look more like a practical source as well as helps give the light a longer feel. By creating a smaller black cap, there is now an additional inch and a half to two inches of the light on each side in total, which is about four inches of additional light. Also with the build included is three quarter 20 mounting sockets to help facilitate hanging options with included eye bolts. So the next we're gonna be talking about is the menu section on the back of the tube. And Nanlite really stepped up their game with a brand new OLED screen. With the new tubes, there is no more dial on the side of the light to adjust saturation or color temperature. Everything is right on this panel. The menu button toggles between CCT mode, which which ranges from 2700 Kelvin to 12,000 Kelvin with the green and magenta tint of minus 100 and plus 100. They also have the HSI mode and the hue ranges from zero to 360 tones of color and a saturation of zero to 100. Also is the traditional FX mode, which include 15 built-in practical effects, for example, storm, police car, disco, and many more. The brand new pixel effects, which include 10 built-in effects, for example, the rainbow, driving, multicolor, and many more. So having this new pixel effects option will really help you dial in exact colors and exact tonage to get exactly what you're looking for for your specific shot. Another cool feature on the back is the lock button. This will lock your current settings to avoid any accidental changes so you keep the same settings all the time. And to undo the lock button, just press and hold to unlock and start changing your settings. Lastly, on the back, the USB-C port is made to be used for firmware updates. So now let's talk a little bit about some new features that these Pavo tubes include. Battery life. The 30X can run up to 96 minutes on full power and 11 hours and 45 minutes on 10% power using the built-in battery. Next, let's talk about light quality, which is extremely important for me as a cinematographer to make sure that the light I'm shining on an object or a person has the highest color rendition and make sure that it's not shifted to one color or another. Um, and one thing that's really cool about these new Pavo tubes is that they have a great color rendition and a CRI of 96, which is extremely high. Next thing we're gonna be talking about is output. One of the things I noticed about the original Pavo tubes was that in certain circumstances, the light actually didn't really illuminate anything because maybe it was just, there were too much ambient going on in the room and it just couldn't hold the power. So the new Pavo tubes have a way brighter output, which will help in instances where the room tone or outside is a lot brighter and you need a little bit of light where the original tubes couldn't get to having a little bit more power and output make these tubes way more valuable in certain scenarios. Another great feature that Nanlite included in their tubes was creating a better diffusion system inside of their tubes. Sometimes with the original tubes, I would have to maybe tape or grip an extra sheet of diffusion in front of the tube to soften it even more. But now having that internal diffusion system inside of the actual tube itself really allows me to get that extra softness that I'm looking for with the tube without being way too harsh or even having to add any sort of diffusion in front of it. Next thing we're gonna be talking about is the wireless functions. And again, as a cinematographer, this is extremely valuable and having a wireless function for these tubes, especially at this price point, without a doubt, takes Nanlite and takes the Pavo tubes to a, a realm that is similar to the Astera Titans or the Quasars. And being able to get industry standard technology like this at such an affordable rate is extremely impressive and really important to filmmakers because there's instances where I'm lighting a scene and I'm by my monitor, but I wanna dim the rim light of the tube, maybe down 10%. And instead of going to have to go do it, I could just go on my phone, dim it down as I'm looking at the monitor to make sure that it looks good. And if, for instance, that 10% was still too bright, I need to go to 15, 
Instead of walking back and forth three times, I just do it on my phone, which saves a lot of time. It makes it way more efficient and the workflow is a lot easier. So these tubes include Wi-Fi and Bluetooth capabilities as well as including their new app. So within their app, you have full control and capabilities of creating anything you want and adjusting anything you need from saturation to color temperature to the effects to making the effects manual or automatic to adjusting the hue to CC anything you want you could do within the app and not even go to have to touch the light which is a really awesome feature. The last feature is the included option of utilizing a DMX controller to adjust your lighting. These tubes have a built-in DMX output so you can control your lights via DMX controller. Another really cool feature that Nanlite included, which I thought was a really huge problem with the original Pavo tubes, was I couldn't tell what my battery percentage was. Now you have full capability of seeing each bar on the battery, and when you're charging, you could see how much percentage you're at. Previously on the old tubes, there was just this little red glowing thing to determine if it was charged or not. So having the ability to see where you are in your battery life is a really great upgrade. So that's it for talking about these new Pavo tubes. I am extremely happy about these. Pretty much every upgrade that they included were things that I've thought about before in, my, in the old original tubes. Like, for example, the battery thing we talked about, just the build quality and having that extra layer of diffusion right here in the light to make it even softer. And also just these little caps to make give you, self, give you an extra two inches of light and make it a lot shorter. It just looks a lot better. It's a lot cleaner of a light and they pretty much listened to all of the creatives that had their input on the original tubes and created one that is, in my opinion, pretty much almost perfect. And not saying it's not perfect, but nothing's perfect. And this is the closest thing that you can get to being perfect at such a reasonable price point. So these lights are now my workhorse, gonna be on my set every single time. I'm gonna be using them for so many different things and the, the versatility that these lights can provide is just unmatched with anything else. So that's all I got today. Thank you to Adorama TV for giving me the opportunity to play around with some of these lights and give me the opportunity to speak with you guys and kind of just share my thoughts and share some information on these new lights with you. And thank you to Nanlite for creating such an awesome product and continually innovating the LED world at such an affordable rate for us creators. Um, yeah, that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed. Until next time, have a great day. Peace out.